Hello everybody, tis I the Rumpled One. A lot of people have been wanting me to make a video about uh, the rat trade, draining the banks like a rat. So here we go. Uh, the rules are simple. Uh, I'm a green rat, so that means I only go long. Some people are red rats, that means they only go short. And if you go both directions, you're a Yale student. So, what happens? We get a candle, a red candle. It comes down and it puts in a low. So the rat zone will be anywhere from that low point to 20 pips above it. But people go, well, wait a minute. What if it makes a lower low? Well, guess what? That's trading. It could make a lower low. But let's say in this case it doesn't. So then you let that red candle close. Then you get a green candle. Note the high price of the green candle. Now the next candle that opens, if it comes, if it's a green candle and it comes up, it could break it. If it breaks it right there, right at the high, that's your entry point. Right there. The high point of this candle that's your entry trigger now of course it could hit that high point turn around and drop that's trading nothing you can do about it nothing I can do about it it's trading there's a risk involved but based on the pairs that I usually post I know about two out of three times that that the uh, wick of the daily candle, the bottom wick is going to be greater than 20 pips. So if you're looking here, it doesn't matter if it's a red or a green candle. Let's say we have a, a red candle. Daily candle. Okay? This wick, the distance between the low and the close, is usually greater than 20 two out of three times. I kind of like those odds. It's that simple. Now people say, well, what about stop loss? Well, stop loss, just use 10 pips. Okay, it's real simple. And they go, well, how do I know about, you know, when do I exit? Well, there's many ways you can determine when you exit. And I think maybe my next video, I'll uh, post up my exit playbook, or at least part of it, so you can get an idea when to exit. So hopefully, that explains it pretty simple. Uh, we can write it down. One, if the, if the current price or close minus the low of the, the current daily low, if that's less than 20, that's opportunity. Two, a red candle closes. Three, a green candle closes. Probably can't read that. My, ever since I was a kid, I didn't have the best penmanship. But you can go out to the forums and, and read it. Okay, so green candle closes. Note, the high price of that green candle. Four. Enter at that price. Okay? Five. Your stop loss is always ten pips. Number six. Take what you can when you can. You might only get a couple of pips and all of a sudden price starts to reverse on you. So you might only get two or three pips some of the time, but it's better than a loss. And number seven, if the rules don't talk about it, it's not important. Remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it.